Robin, this, this part of the equipment I recognize is the same orientation cage you use for the mouse experiments, but you must explain the rest of it. Well, these are two large Helmholtz coils. They're copper wires going around again, and they're going to reverse the magnetic field in the middle of it, and we're hoping that as the magnetic field is reversed one way and then the next, that the moths will move from one arm to the other. So, you are supposing that all the moths that you test in here have a bias towards flying south? Yeah. The argument is this. All of these moths were caught in a light trap. Yeah. Now, the reason we think they're caught in a light trap is because they mistake the bulb for the moon. Yeah. Now, a trap will only catch, therefore, moths that are flying towards the moon, because if they fly away from the moon, they fly away from the light trap and don't get caught in it. Sure. So it's only moths that fly towards the moon, therefore, it's moths that prefer to fly south when the moon's shining, and we would therefore expect they prefer to fly south relative to the magnetic field as well. So you're up for the rest of the night, are you? Yes, yes, the program is that every ten minutes we switch the switch over there, reverse the magnetic field, and then come back ten minutes later, count how many moths in each of the arm, and just keep doing that ten minutes, every ten minutes during the night. It would be a zoologist. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I can see ten. North, north first. When the Earth's normal field was passing through here, these cores were switched off. The moths um, moved towards the south, and as soon as we reversed the field, the moths moved towards the north. So evidently, they were using the magnetic field to tell where south was.